yet that is so boring no give me something good yet disgusting try again what was that okay yes yes what what is it show me da well i actually very much like this oh what is the inspiration Income inequality. Ooh. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe we could um, put it on Jeffrey and then I'm thinking two page issue spread in next month's catalog of evil book. Very good. Okay. Get working on that. Good job. Good job. Okay. Oh. Your evilness. I have been waiting for you to visit. It is so good to see you. How many times have I told you please visit me? I've been waiting for you. Too many times. That's what it is. So, to what do I owe the pleasure you? You would like me to style you? Oh. Ever since, ever since you opened yourself up to the super villain market, I have dreamed, I have positively dreamed of styling you. It's just, first of all, you know I love you, but second, you have such a wonderful canvas of which I can put my and for you, I have many visions, but it depends on how you would like to dress yourself. Okay, we'll get into that. <sighs> so happy. I don't mean to be rude, but when I saw you on the TV, I wept for you. I did. You were doing your super villainous, people were crying because you were so evil. I was so proud, but they were also laughing. They were laughing at you. Well, because look at your outfit. Who dressed you? Yourself. No, 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 darling. This is my job. I am professional at this. I professionally dress the evil feelings. You are fl friend of family, why you look up to me? Oh, you never impose. Okay, listen, all of this for free because eh, I should have done this in the first place. Okay, so let me get a look at you. Oh, oh, Katya, Katya, cancel my six o'clock. I'm going to need extra time here. Thank you, darling. What is this? Hmm? Uh, Mr. Bigglesworth. I am, I apologize. Mr. Evil is here today and he does not shut up, Mr. Bigglesworth. Okay. So, what is this? Is this a duster? It goes all the way down to the floor. Oh, let me take a look. What is this fabric? Is this itching you? Are you itching? Do you need a cream because of this terrible fabric? No, okay. Take it off. No, take it off, take it off. I cannot bear to look at it. And what is this right here? Right here, this neck thing that you have. I'm just going to get a closer look. Okay. It's going to get a closer look. Good. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't even know what that is. What inspired you for this? Okay. I see your vision. I understand, but this does not pull it off. So you're going to need to take that off. Take it off. Mm. And then this thing on your head. Can I take a closer look? This thing on your head. Oh no, 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 no. I'm going to go around you. Take a look. What is this? Take it off. 
get the rest of it. Cut it. These items, I want you to take them into the backyard. Shoot them twice. No, no, no. Shoot them three times and then burn them. I want to see a large pillow of smoke from the balcony. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. Alright, now that that is taken care of, your shirt and your pants, they are good. They're staples because they're um, a blank canvas that I can work with. So we can keep the shirt and we can keep the pants that we have going here. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to get an idea of what you're looking for. I'm going to show you a few examples of what we can dress you in and then I'm going to measure you and then show you a few accessories that you can use to help boost what uh, you have going on here. Okay, so what was your vision? You explained. Okay, may I take a look while you do this? Okay. Yes, okay. Yeah. So dark, you wanted to And then, yeah, okay, yes, I see. I'm going to take a look around. Okay. Right, right. Uh huh. So you wanted to strike fear in the eyes. You wanted to strike fear in the eyes of your enemies, okay. Uh huh. Closer look here. Yeah, yeah, I see. So you wanted something that was... Right, 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 okay. Okay. So I fear that you do not understand. So what the look that you had was giving was Hi, I go to rave and I dress um, as goth for a ghost rave but I'm not actually goth And I go to Gothrave and, and you can be spotted from miles away. It was not good. It's okay, most of us do not know how to they most of us do not know how to dress ourselves, so it's okay. Okay. Now that I have your vision in mind, I'm gonna grab a few items. We're going to try them on and then you tell me how they make you feel. Okay. In here. So, listen, you are young. Remember that you are young, you are in your prime. So why not go for a good girl, bad girl look? Um, or sorry, <coughs> just bad girl, bad boy look? or whatever you're going for, pet lizard, whatever you, you want it to be with pleather jacket mm -hmm. so this one that I have here so this one it it has not one pocket one pocket but two pockets as you can see there's a second pocket right here and the first pocket is right it has a symmetrical neckline. It's not uh, zipped up right now, but as you can see, the neckline is asymmetrical, and there's even a hood in the back for you to put over your head. Oh, there goes my measuring tape. I dropped it. Let's put it over here. Okay. So back to this. So sorry, so as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted from Mr. Picklesworth, okay? So here we have the lines and they take you in. What they do is they make your waist look more taken in. It gives you more of a shape, uh, a shape. Trust me, no matter what your gender, it's going to look very good on you, okay? So, 
the inside too is very soft so you may have this very tough exterior but on the inside on the inside here you have a very soft soft inside so you have long days as super villain sometimes it takes a long time to terrorize the city but with this you are able to feel comfortable the whole way now the only thing i will say stain very easy so if you're going for more of a neat sort of villain look this will not be good and also it does not good in the rain so are you thinking this is okay did you want to try it on see how you felt okay so you will be working in the rain okay so this is a no I'm going to put this over here it's a no pile. It is okay. You don't need to try everything on. That's fine. So I'm going to move on to the next item. Okay. <coughs> so you mentioned that you wanted something that is a bit more, uh, something that you can wrap up a bit. So what we have here is this is another one that you can put up above your head because it has hood but it is a more of a disheveled look have you heard of techwear? have you heard of techwear? techwear is a new type of super villain wear it's for the modern villain so if you are very interested in crypto or NFTs but in like the scam side this is very good <coughs> this is very good alternative so techwear shows that you are super villain but you are not behind on the times you know what you're doing right? so we have all these little dangly bits so it's almost as if like it had been um, you know broken or scratched apart and then reformed do you see these parts here how it was reformed right but it was actually sewed like that okay we have that neckline as well this is asymmetrical sorry and we have this right here this is part of the hood so it does potentially zip all the way up so that when you put it on um, it could be very open if like down or you can zip all the way up if you like so you do have that option okay would you like to try this on over your t-shirt? Okay, so it's a bit too disheveled. Okay, you're going for affluent. I see. So you want to have a look of I have money, you do not. Ugh. One of my personal favorites. <laughs> okay, let me set this aside and I will get another one for you. So this one over here, I know exactly what to show you. Okay, so this is more uh, of a Victorian look. So here we have this almost vampire looking sort of jacket, and we have this absolutely beautiful pleating right here. It also has this high neckline to show off your beautiful jaw structure. This, this beautiful structure that you have going on here. So this will show that off. And then on the inside here, we have this beautiful lace. This lace is very, um, I 
dark and vampiric in nature but it also shows again I have money and you do not right and again with that we have these coat tails as you can see it goes all the way down it will go all the way down over here to probably about here on you right and if you can also see it has an absolutely beautiful sort of um, texture here if you, you can see and this again adds to the I have money for fabric that has texture whereas you do not and when you show up you have this look of very much sophistication like what I am going with with this little cape that I have on and of course if you want a cape not this long black cape if you want something like that let me know but would you like to try this on? I think it would look absolutely dashing on you okay let's try this one okay so go ahead and please hold your arms out please okay I'm just going to put this on your arm here okay and up and around the back okay and on your other arm here up 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 the arm okay and What do we think? Look in the mirror. Is this the sort of super villain look that you are going for? You look very sophisticated. You're very much giving me Phantom of the Opera vibes. Mm -hmm. We could also get mask that we could put on your face here, but if you want, we can for eye part so you can see through it. A bit too sophisticated. I see. Something more in the middle. How did you feel about the idea of tech wear? Mm -hmm. You did like it. So, potentially tech wear, but less destroyed. Okay, let's take this one off, okay? Hold out your arm. Just going to Take it off your arm here. Walk around. Down your shoulders. And then off your other arm here. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to set that over there. Okay, so I have one more piece that I can show you that I believe will just complement what you have going on here Because we are very confident in it. So, 
what do you think? On the side here, I do want to mention if you can see We have this part here that looks like bone It looks like bone, but it is actually a reflective part It can reflect And it is on the other side here too And it reflects in the light And that can give very ominous sort of feel um, and we can add other things to it to give it more of a Blade Runner type thing uh, mm -hmm. So you are interested in Blade Runner type Techwear Cyberpunk 20, what, 49 or something like that You are interested in that, okay So this one, of course I would have to get in your size We can't really try this on right now So I'm going to set this aside And then I'm going to measure you for this, okay? Uh, Katya That item of clothing right there, the reflective one Yes, I'm going to send you the measurements I want you to uh, one meal right away Here we have to okay. <laughs> Alright, so this part you can just sit back and relax because I don't need you to um, think. You just stand there and look pretty, okay? Okay, I'm going to measure. your chest here, your shoulders Okay, that looks like okay. this part okay. right. And this part okay. Alright, I'm going to measure out down here Hold still, hold your arm out please Okay Katya, you see, okay, 13 And this one over here, just going to hold out your arm please Okay, and take a look okay. And I'm going to go around and I'm going to measure your back Sleeve to have a thumb hole, so when you put it on, there's thumb hole. What are we thinking about that? Maybe. Okay, I will have two made, and then you can decide. Okay. Taking a look at. I'm just going to measure your hand here. Okay. 
and your other hand find sixth sixth okay. right and this right right there okay good now turn your hand around for me all right okay and the other hand please turn your hand around Change it to seven, to six. Yes, change it to seven. Okay. All right. And then delegate and And how long did you want the bone pattern to be? Okay. The length of the arm. Did you want also to have around the back here, right here on your? Okay, right. Did you want it to go down a bit more? So this one, it stops right about here and shoulders. Did you want it to go down a bit more? Okay, yep. So I'm just going to measure for that. Okay, what about right here? Does that sound good? So it will stop right here on uh, around your sternum. Or, sorry, you know what I meant. Okay. Alright. Well, then we have there. Um, that just will not stay. Next, I would like to take off this makeup that you have on. You obviously are new to it and you were trying to go for a certain look, but it didn't work out. I'm very sorry to say this, but it did not work out. So I'm going to wash it off. This wet piece of cotton pad that I'm going to use to wipe this makeup off so it looks like you decided to just go ham on your eyelids with this like black powder or something and I I honor the fact that you tried but it does not look good on you so it closes up your eyes and instead of making them like really powerful and fun they look more like um, you woke up in the morning uh, from yesterday's makeup and it is like rubbed all over your face okay good there we go very good all of that off but also to moisturize your face okay so I'm just going to work this around on your face work it around there we go
sheen to your face so that you have this almost like I have been working on my on my evil plan and I have not been working on myself for many days and self care is something that I have not done but secretly you have been working on your self care <laughs> so it's going to a very natural beauty to you and that you don't need any makeup but if you want to add a little bit of like a wing I can like this but yours would be way more dramatic I was going for more subtle today so you're okay with that okay just going to do extra we could go underneath how do you feel about that yes okay so I'm just going is on so I had to get close I apologize for getting so close but yes I forgot glasses I'm pretty sure Mr. Pickles word has stolen them and put them somewhere that little kid I love it so much but at the same time it drives me mad Dr. Evil is going to have to do something about that 
accessories so every villain needs something that is a statement so you have your tech wear and that is going to show what sort of villain you are but what you have is your statement piece now that is going to show even more what sort of quirk you have so even if they least you have like a special thing which is this like potentially this bag so here we have this sort of dragon skin bag the dragons were um they were created from like old dinosaur uh genes and then they were made in lab just so that This is what we do here because we are devoted to you and your evil villainess and we want to make sure that we have the best quality for you so this here is the eye of the dragon that we um, created in lab and of course it has like some sort of like resin on top so you don't need to worry about it getting anywhere but on the back of more of that beautiful dragon skin and this you can wear like a clutch you can hold with you sorry there's something in here already but you can hold it like this and perhaps while you stand over your evil destruction you hold it like this so like I am watching you no so you aren't into the dragon skin, makes you sad. Okay, I'll set this aside. Okay. Well, okay, how about... Now this is one that I was thinking of actually wearing myself. So this is eye patch. Now this eye patch, it... Uh, has encrusted with diamonds and of course all these diamonds have been stolen so no need to think that they are ethically sourced do not worry these are definitely stolen and many tears were shed over these diamonds so this has very simple strap for you you just put it around your head and then it sits on your eye like this on the inside because of course you don't if you don't want to go all the way and take out your eye which we will do here for you it does have a very nice sort of soft very soft inside and this look after our clients this is actually bulletproof now unfortunately some superheroes have these weird metals and it doesn't um, protect, protect against some of them like vibranium or something but it does protect against bullets or um, very normal metals or even some of those high-end metals so this you will not have to worry about um, eye being hurt but anyway it's more about the fashion so as you could imagine you know it would sit perhaps more like more like this okay so if you're going for the one eye look
look I know that's very It's a maybe, okay. I'll set this aside in the maybe pile. Now, this next one. Okay. So, okay. So this next one, I have these gloves. And I can't really show you because I have fake nails on. But these are long long gloves they are made of very good fabric probably like silk or something they're very much high end and not from like Halloween store like a lot of people would have so long it goes all the way up to here and this gives a very once again sophisticated villain look and there is something very dramatic Whoa, you know, about this sort of idea of feeling with gloves and they're going like this. So if you wanted to have some sort of pose that you had, like as you're standing on a rooftop, you're kind of like this, you know? And if you had the gloves, it would add to the wow factor. So again, these gloves have very soft, very soft fabric, very soft. The only issue with this is of course functionality. If you have many henchmen doing things for you, I think that this would be a very good option. But unfortunately, yeah, typing on your phone or doing much more So if you're thinking of a quick getaway with these, I would instead flink them off, but that's only in bad case scenario. So otherwise it is very good. And I even have another type of glove I show you. So this glove, this one is less like sophistication and it's more like, um, uh, I don't know, but like low level, but like I get my hands dirty and as you can hear, it has sort of this stickiness to it. It's again made of pleather, so it has a sort of stickiness so you go like this in front of the hero like this and it makes like this sound right like this sound and this is something that like they could hear in um like their their dreams their nightmare they hear the sound and they remember your hands going like like this like this so just for now Imagine I had like gloves like that on and I'm going like this in your face as I'm telling you my evil plan. So like this in your face, I'm telling you evil plan. Could you imagine how scary that would be? Right? <gasps> okay, so those are a potential yes. You would like pleather gloves, but in different color. What color were you thinking? Black to match the tech, tech wear, okay? Black, okay. So I'll put that on the yes, and then we'll keep the eye patch in the maybe pile. 
I think we don't want to go too far. We don't want to add too many um, items to your uh, your look. We need to make sure that it is simple and sleek. Because of course, with the tech wear, we're going to change our pants. It's going to be more like baggy, and then we're going to have like belt that's perhaps more like large, and it is slouchy, and we pull it, you know, so there is like some hanging. So we want to be more subtle with the accessories and we don't want to go too far But, 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 but Now this is just example, okay? This is just example, but I want to give you the idea of this, okay? So, here we have horse knife This is horse knife and I know what you're thinking. This doesn't go with the look that you created for me. And I'm telling you, I can change or find a different knife with different look on top. This one, of course, has very pretty look. It has this sort of flower look about it. It's very pretty. It's kind of like, actually, it's more like a glow. sort of one hip out you have your your look right here with your gloves and then you know you move over your if you want a cape or whatever you move over to the side you reveal your statement piece which is of course the knife that I would make for you how does that feel powerful good so you can see yourself you can envision yourself here in this idea, in this sense. Good, good, good. Okay. Katya? So, we are thinking um, of creating a special samurai sword, like takeaway, but I am also envisioning having like some kind of light in it, like light up light, RPG V light. Right, right. So, um, put together the plans for that and then I'll, I'll look it over okay this is very important client so make sure that it's good okay all right so that is all that I will offer you today I don't want to overwhelm you I want this to be very nice sort of um, a prospect for you because I'm so excited So those measurements will get back very soon and we will have it ready for you by tomorrow and then you can try on your 
whole outfit and then um, just imagine yourself in this situation with your next um, evil plan and when you unveil yourself to the world once again with your rebrand you will look very cool and no one will be laughing at you no one will be laughing at you okay and instead they will be weeping from all your evilness and they will of course bow down to your evilness right okay so thank you once again darling for coming to 